What's up guys, Hellraiser Gaming here and welcome back to another Fortnite creative tutorial. In today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the button in Fortnite creative. As you can see in the devices menu there's a bunch of devices that you guys might not know what they do. So over the next coming weeks I'm going to be doing do tutorials on all these devices helping you guys learn to use them and different ways on how to use them, showing you examples and stuff like that. So I'm going to be doing the speakers, uh, explosive devices, everything pretty much guys. So make sure to subscribe and hit that bell so you get notified when I'm uploading. And also hit that like button if this video did help you and you want more just like this. I will be showing you guys how to use storms as well in like BR and uh, things like that. So yeah, let's get into the first device. It is the button. It's probably the most simplest device, but it can be used for almost anything. You can turn any device on with this. You can activate things, you can give yourself things, you can teleport to places. So I'm going to be showing you guys four examples in the background here in a second of how to use a button. But first I'm going to go over the settings. So once you press the button and go into the customize section, it says a bunch of things that you can change and interact with to activate different things and have different settings. So the first thing is you can have activating team. So that means the team that can activate this button, you could have it on any, so that means any team can activate it. Or you could have it on team one can activate a certain weapon and team two can activate a different weapon uh, without them having the same weapons. Uh, times can trigger, that means how many times you can press a button. So if you wanna, want them to press a button and then that's it. Uh, you could press it once or twice or you can have it on infinite. The delay is how long it takes for the button to give you the item. So if you put it on one second, you get the item one second after you press a button. Reset delay, that means you can have it on infinite but there's a reset so you can press a button once and then after five seconds you can press a button again. Trigger sound, that's just the sound that it makes when you're triggering it. Um, Enable the game start, you could have it enabled or you could have it disabled and then you could have another device activate the button at a certain time. Interaction text, that just means whatever it says when you go up to it. So I'll just put uh, yes or something like that, I'll just put that for now. Um, visible during games, that means the button device is visible. Interaction, interaction radius, as you can see what we'll do here is when you're this close to it, so you're going to be around the outside of this button, this bubble. Uh, once you're at that radius, you can press a button. Or you could have it smaller and you're going to be closer to the button to activate it. So that's pretty cool. So you don't actually have to be next to the button to activate it pretty much. Um, and then you've also got your enablers. So that will enable the device uh, from another device. Or you can disable it from another device. And then this one is the one that you want to mess with. And it's when interacted with transmit on. So you will do a channel on that. So if you want to activate another device with the button, you will want to change that. So you want to go to when interactive with, you want to change it to channel one, and then you want to go to the device that you want to connect it to. So you could connect it to an explosive device, a barrier, a teleporter, or a, um, an item granter. And all you want to do is go up to these devices and, it'll, and then you'll want to enable it or disable it with channel one. So I'm going to show it you over here because this one is connected to channel 1. So you're going to want this barrel to explode on channel 1 and then it'll open a path once you press that button. So that is pretty much how the device works and all the settings within the button. So let me show you a few uh, examples of how this works. Um, and yeah, you'll be able to use them in all different ways on your guys' maps. So let's load in. We'll go to the left first. So this first one is going to open a pathway. So let's say you're in your map. And you have um, you want them to search a little area without going further into your map. You could have it a path blocked off with like a key. Uh, you could have like a little device or like a like a door that says you can enter this, but you've got to go and find something within the map first. And then once they've found that item, they can press a button to open it. So as you can see, once you press this button, it, it explodes that, and you can now walk down that path. Uh, you could have used that in any other way, uh, maybe like removing something or destroying something. I don't know, that's completely up to you guys. This one, you press it and it will remove that bar barrier 
I believe the barrier is just removed because I've just clicked that by, one by accident. I've connected them both. But yeah, if you press that button, it's going to remove that barrier. Um, and then you can walk through it. Here is a teleporting one. So when you press this button, you teleport to the teleporter. So that is pretty cool. Um, I'll show you guys how to do that in a second. And then here is the item grinder. You can't see it in game, but you will get it if you just press this button. As you can see, uh, I got it. From pressing that i haven't got it on infinite otherwise i would show you that you can press it over and over again but once you press that button it's going to grant you the item that was in the item spawner a second ago so let's jump out of this and i'll show you guys how to connect both devices together so i'll show you the explosive device first so let's quickly go back okay here we go so as you can see the explosive device and the button is now connected together and you can use it to blow up the item so if you come to the modified options section, these are the only two settings in this entire device that you'll want to change. So times can trigger, you want to change it to one and when interacted with transmit on channel one. So out of all these settings here, those are the only two that you want to change. And then you want to go to the barrel and the only ch settings you want to change on here is blast radius 0.5, player damage zero, structure damage 5,000. Uh, the structure damage only relies on the health of this. So this uh, item has 600 health, so you don't even need it on 5,000. You could just have it on 600 and it'll destroy it. Uh, damage indestructible buildings, yes, unless you don't want indestructible buildings uh, getting destroyed. Then you turn that off. Uh, knockback, you don't want any knockback for the player. Health bar, that doesn't really matter. And explode when receiving from channel 1. So channel 1 is connected to the button. So you'll have it explode on that. Moving on to the barrier, same with this. This is going to be time scan trigger one, and then when interacted with on channel two, I only have it on channel two because I've already got that one connected to that one. So this one needs to be connected to this one. So you're going to move up a channel without having that press this one, pretty much. Um, the only ones you want to change on here are uh, the barrier style. You can have that any style you want. You guys can go through that. That's completely up to you. Base visible during game, that's completely up to you. Enable during phase, and then I have it on all. And then disable when receiving from channel 2. So that when you press this button, it's going to disable the barrier. So you can walk through it. Here we have the teleporter. So I have it on channel 3, obviously, because it's my, it's my third device in the map. Uh, times can trigger 1 again. You can have that on as many times as you want. Um, so you can teleport it to it teleport to this teleporter multiple times if you want and then the only thing you want to change on this is channel 3 uh, teleport to when receiving from channel 3 which is just here you can do multiple other things as well if you want with it you can use mutator devices which i will show you in a later video but yeah that is it for that one let's move on to the item grantor so here we have um the final one the only setting you want to change on this is when interacted with transmit on oh wait never mind at times can trigger one and then channel four because it's my fourth device and then the item grantor you want to go to uh, receiving players all players or you can have triggering player so the person that triggered that button would get it if you put it on triggering player but if you want all players to get it by just one person triggering it then that's up to you or you could have it the triggering team as well um on grant action, keep all, uh, clear resources. It depends what you guys want to do with your game mode with that one. And then grant, I've got it on all items. So whatever items you put in this item grantor, you will grant them all. So if you put a rocket, an SMG, a grenade launcher in it, you'll get all three items. Or you could have it on just uh, the item that it uh, changes to. Cycle behavior, I have, it, I have it on wrap. It doesn't matter what you have it on really. If you're having multiple weapons, it's better to have wrap because then it goes to the next one rather than all the way back to the beginning. Um, and then grant item on channel 4 because it's connected to the fourth button. So yeah, that is how you use a button device in Fortnite Creative. I do hope this video helped you. I tried to explain it as best as I can. If you need, if you've got any questions about this device, make sure to comment them down below and I will get to them as quick as I can and try to explain it as best as I can. Uh, the next devices are going to be, uh, well, I don't know yet. I'll decide that when I get to that point. 
Uh, but let me know what next device you want a tutorial on and I'll definitely be sure to do it. Make sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell to get notified when I upload in the future. And I'll see you all in the next one.